Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully created a functionality to search dealer or customer and display the details in our respective text boxes. And in this episode, we will add similar functionality uh, for product uh, module. Uh, or uh, we will search for the product and display the details in respective text boxes for transaction module uh, so without further delay let's move to our tutorial first of all we will need to start our project so i'll go to my project folder so which is any store in our in my desktop and open my uh, project uh, solution file by double clicking on solution file and this will open on Visual Studio IDE since we are creating Microsoft uh, applications it's a desktop based application so this is our purchase and sales form we have uh, added the functionality to search for dealer or customer and display the details in respective text boxes now in this episode we will search for the product here and display the product name uh, quantity in our database and rate of the product and this will be added manually so first step is to create a method to search for the product uh, so let's go to the solution explorer and let's go to DAL folder expand the DAL folder and here we will need to go to product DAL so double click on product DAL so this is this is the product DAL here we will create a method to search for the product and display in our transaction module so let's create a reason reason method to search product in transaction module and has in reason not in if in reason so that's it now inside this region we will create a method so public and then method will be product pro du city product bll and get products for transaction and we'll pass a string keyword a string and then keyword so don't worry about the error since this is a product uh, products bll type method we need to create a products bll object and return it to solve this error so create an object of yeah, products bll and return products bl and return it so products bll p is equals to new products bll and we need to return it so return p so it solved the problem but uh, before returning product we need to write the code to search the product and display so for that we will create a sql connection first connection so sql connection con is equals to new sql connection using my connection string which was created in earlier videos here and then we need to create a data table to data table to store data temporarily so data table dt equals new data table so that's it now we need to write actual code to search the products and display in text boxes so i will start with try block so try and then catch exception ex and inside the catch block we will uh, display the message if we have any exceptional errors so message box dot so ex dot message and then finally we will close the database connection so close database connection so connection dot close 
and then we will write the query and execute it inside the try block so write the query to get the details so string sql is equals to select we need to select name and quantity in our database and rate so let's go to products dl server explorer let's expand our database and tables and tbl underscore products so name and rate and quantity we need to get these three things name rate and quantity so select name rate and qty from from tbl underscore products where i will search based on id and name so id like percentage percentage and then double quote and then plus plus keyword or percentage percentage double quote plus plus keyword or after all i need to add a like keyword or name like this percentage keyword so that's it this is the query to search the product based on id and name now we need to execute the query create sql data adapter to execute the query so sql data adapter adapter equals new sql dot adapter using sql and connection and then we need to open the database connection open database connection connection dot open and then we need to pass the value from adapter to dt uh, currently we have values from database in adapter now we need to transfer this value to dt so pass the value from adapter to dt so adapter adapter dot fill dt so we pass the value from adapter to dt so if we have any values in data table then we need to um, pass this value from dt to our products blp so if we have any values on dt then set the values to products bll so if dt dot rows dot count is greater than zero then p dot name equals dt dot rows zero and then name dot to string so that's it similarly p dot rate is equals to dt dot rows zero and then rate dot to string but since the rate is in decimal data type it needs to be converted so decimal dot parse and then parenthesis close similarly for quantity p dot q t y is equals to decimal dot parse and then d t dot rows zero then q t y and then dot to string and parenthesis close so that's it so guys we have successfully created a method to search for the products based based on keyword and return our 
results in our product BLL so this is it now using this method we will uh, search for the products and specify the details here so let's uh, create a text change event for this product search text box so just select the product search text box and go to properties and click on this thunder icon and double click on text change event so here it is now first step is to get the keyword from product search text box for that a string keyword is equals to a string keyword is equals to uh, txt product we do we have product search or only search i think search product this is our txt search product dot text and here we will check uh, if we have value or not on keyword text search product so check if we have value on txt search product or not so if we if we do not have any value on this search product or text box then we need to uh, empty all of these text boxes so if keyword is equal to is equals to blank then txt product product or do we have what do we have let's search i don't know what do we have what's the name of this text box let's select the text box and go to properties here and its name it do not have name so i'll give txt product name and similarly let's check out for this text box go to properties and it is txt inventory and let's check out for this this one is txt rate and this one is txt qty so this is it now let's go to our code view and here we need to search for txt product name dot text is equals to blank similar txt inventory dot text is equals to blank and last one is txt rate is equals to blank and also txt q t y is equals to blank and finally return it dot text forgot to write text dot text so that's it now we will add actual functionality to search for the product and return here so first we need to create a product dal so we have dcdl but we do not have product dl so let's create product dl here so i'll just press enter and product dl p dl is equals to new and then product dl so let's go to our text search product text and event and after the if condition is end we need to search the product product and display on respective text boxes for that let's create a product bll so product bll product bll p equals p equals p d l p d l dot get products for transaction and we'll pass keyword so this will uh, search the product and store the value in product bll p object so using this object we will set the value in our text boxes so set the values on text boxes based on p object so txt product name dot text is equals to p dot name 
and then txt inventory dot text is equals to p dot quantity and last one is txt rate where is rate rate dot text is equals to p dot rate so that's it but we have error here since uh, uh, this uh, quantity and rate is of decimal in uh, decimal data type we need to convert it to a string so to a string so that's it and similarly this dot to a string so that's it we fix the error let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's check it out if it works or not by pressing on start now let's log in with user credentials so which is user password also user user type is user let's log in login successful let's go to purchase and let's search for product first i will type id one we do not have any uh products with id one and when this field is empty everything is empty so let's start with two so we have product with two product id which is yy we do not have any products yet in our database and its rate is 18 and this is the quantity which we which a customer wants to buy so it will be added manually and let's search for three three also product and four cookies right we have everything let's search based on name so yy yy fanta comes fanta and cookies comes cookies so this is guys we have successfully added a feature to search for the product and display the respective details in our text boxes uh, in the next video we will add a functionality to add the product which we want to buy by clicking on this button and display the products uh, added in this data grid view and after adding the product we will uh, clear the text boxes to in order to add another product so we can add multiple products at a time uh, by clicking this add button so thank you so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and also click on bell icon so you will get notified when i update new videos so uh, if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so thank you so much for watching see you soon bye bye